Hi, this is Luke from MGN, and today we're going to talk about Freedom Games. What's Freedom Games? It's an independent games publisher who we're a part of. MGN and Freedom are part of the same family. So today we're going to look at some of our upcoming releases. So if you're interested in some really high quality, independently developed and published games, check out these and we're going to go through our upcoming ones, give you some insight, have a look at the trailers right now. Stick with me. Okay, so the first indie game we're going to have a look at is Dark Deity. It's a strategic RPG being developed by Sword and Axe LLC, um, and it's supposed to be a return to form for the genre. Uh, it follows in the footsteps of games like Wargroove and Fire Emblem, but promises to honor the origins of the genre with sort of a retro pixelated art style that strategic RPGs were really built on. But building on those uh, sort of with modern and enhanced gameplay features like the hero upgrade system, 50 plus classes, hundreds of weapons, if you're a fan of the genre, or you have fond memories of playing early Fire Emblem games that were translated and brought to the West, but haven't enjoyed the latest entries so much, then looks like Dark A Deity will be the game for you, it's going to scratch that itch. It launches sometime this year, and as soon as it does, you can be rest assured that MGM will be dropping some serious hours to bring you news, guides, how-to videos, and more. The second game we're going to look at is Slaughter League. What happens when you mix the Wipeout game show with the gameplay and hilariousness of something like Fall Guys? Well, you get the wacky and wild Slaughter League, brought to the world by its developer Microwave Games. You're a game show contestant jumping through loops and hoops and avoiding spiked balls of death, competing against your friends or against people around the world in the game's multiplayer. Multitude of game modes, uh, lots of arenas, plenty of content to keep the game fresh. Keep an eye out for Slaughter League, coming out later this year. The third game we're going to look at is To The Rescue, um, and that's coming soon. No TBA yet? If you love animals, then To The Rescue is for you. Not only do you get to play uh, an animal shelter simulation game, but some of the proceeds from your sale will also go to aid in real life animal shelters too. That's pretty cool. The game itself is being made by Little Rock Games and is coming to both PC and the Nintendo Switch. You'll be in charge of taking care of a multitude of puppies that need some TLC, getting them fighting fit for adoption and finding the right home. You'll be throwing curveballs like infectious diseases, really snooty pups that require a lot of detention, uh, attention. But if you work hard, raise funds, give out some love, you'll be on your way to a professional adoption shelter in no time. Third game is Ruin Raiders by the Overpowered Team. Take the best parts of turn-based strategy game like XCOM, best parts of rogue game like roguelike game like Hades, mesh them together, and get Ruin Raiders. Fully customize your party to behave, appear, and play exactly like you wanted to. There's boss battles, procedurally generated ruins, hundreds of items, weapon development, unlockable classes, abilities. It's been an epic experience. Coming soon, still TBA. Coromon, coming sometime 2021. It's a Digimon Pokemon inspired monster capture game. But what sets Coromon apart from those ones is the additional content. Coromon has mini games, puzzles, like genuinely strategic combat, side quests, there's, there's a lot there. Um, it's all in this really charming retro art style, something akin to like uh, Octopath Traveler. Um, and if you're dying for like a nice, like a quality monster catcher game that you can actually play on your PC, Gormon is here. Next is Anucard, that's coming late 2021. Uh, the first game that sort of comes to mind when you think about Anucard or you watch trailers is sort of the Minish Cap. If you have uh, really fun memories playing classic Zelda games on your Game Boy or Game Boy Advance, then Anacard is gonna bring like a flood of nostalgia back. It looks great, it's like that with a modern twist. You can check out the trailer on the game Steam page right now um, and the full release sometime later this year. It looks like a really cool action RPG um, with a really good story. Next game we're gonna look at is One Lonely Outpost coming early 2022. Everyone knows there is very few things more relaxing than after a long day, you come home and you pick pixelated tournaments in the farming game. This is proven. But what if you took that charm that can be found with picking turnips on a computer and turned it into an interstellar colonization game? Well, that's what the developers of One Lonely Outpost had in mind, and the result looks promising. Uh, we're looking forward to it. The game expands on farm simulation by adding elements of like space and colonizing a planet that's far away and quite different from Earth. Um, so if you're excited to see what life beyond the stars is like, but you still want to pull up turnips at the end of the day, well, check out One Lonely Outpost early 2022. Last game we're going to talk about is Cat Cafe Manager, coming soon, still TBA. 
Keeping the line with the number of simulation games that Freedom is publishing in the not too distant future, we have Cat Cafe Manager. The first thing you'll notice about Cat Cafe Manager when viewing it on Steam is it is adorable. The art is amazing. Truly, the people behind the pens have like real talent and a passion for what they're doing. Gameplay wise, as you can imagine, well, you manage a cafe and you adopt cats. If you're not a dog person and you didn't find much appeal in To the Rescue, the dog shelter sim we mentioned earlier, the Babs Cat Cafe will be right up your alley instead. You get to build a cafe, you get to manage customers, you get to look after cats, it's great. Alright, that's going to wrap things up for our quick coverage of the games you can expect from Freedom in the not too distant future. Uh, as we're part of the Freedom family, we'll always, uh, you know, be your best stop for news of the upcoming releases. So be sure to regularly check our MGN.GG blog, our YouTube channel, MGN TV, for all the updates on these games that you could ever want.